Hi there, my name is Paul Darby from DocsCorp. Uh, in this short video, I just want to show you how to split some documents uh, using PDF Docs and also how to compress. Now, there's been many uses for splitting documents, whether you want to break them down by size or whether you want to break them you know, by top level bookmarks, etc. I just thought I'd show you that. Uh, with my document here, if I open up this document here, we can see if I open it up, that I have a number of bookmarks in it, so one through uh, one through five, and I've got some sections in there as well. And ideally, what I want to do is to be able to break this document out easily, having each one of these documents separate. So to do that, let's just grab hold of this document. First of all, just load it into PDF Docs. Now I'm loading this into single document mode. So we can, of course, see on the navigation we have all of those bookmarks. So to break this document down, I can do this in a couple of ways. Now, of course, you can always go through and um, find your documents and just basically save the pages out. We want to automate this. So to automate it, if I choose one of my options here, let's just say save to my computer for a second. You will see that you've got your save as option. And you have this split and extract section here. Now, if I drop that down, you can see that I have a number of options. I could break this down per size. So I could go through a large document, get to, in this example, one meg, and then break the document at that point. What we actually do is go back to the nearest whole page. You don't want to break a document halfway down page 17, for example. And of course, those are slide, slide scales. You can make those bigger or smaller. You can split by every so many pages. So we can go through a document every 10, 20, 30 pages, for example. We can break a document at that point. We can, of course, snap a document in two. Okay, so we can use that. The one I've seen uh, asked for quite recently, though, is actually splitting by the top level bookmarks, which is why I'm showing you this today. So really what I want to do is to break that document by the top level bookmarks and, of course, use the bookmark uh, names for file names, just like that. Now, we have some other options. If you are going to break down by size or by pages, you can have this uh, part number here, and we can put you know, a reference against part one, part two, part three, sort of prefix or a suffix there, depending on what you want. But you don't have to have a label, of course, you can un just simply uncheck it. But when you're splitting by top level bookmarks, generally you want the bookmark names to be um, used as the file names. I don't want to do anything else with the document itself, so we'll just leave that, uh, uh, leave that alone. Of course, you do get the option to delete once you've uh, broken a document down, but we'll leave that alone for a second. So I'm going to save this document. I still want it as a PDF. And I've actually created a folder called split that we're actually going to use here. So simply now I choose where I want that document to go. And what it does for me is it then saves that document and breaks those down for me into those different sections. So one through five, one through five there. So it's quite easy just to break those documents down. Now on section two, of course, we did have some other bookmarks. Let's go and have a look at this particular document here. And you can see that we retain the bookmarks in this particular file. Okay, so we've actually retained those. So it's just a case of bringing those documents down and then uh, we can split those out to the desktop if needed. The other way, of course, is to use the email workflow. Okay, and if we choose the email workflow here, again, we have uh, the ability to create an attachment name, etc. PDF. But again, I want to split and extract. And again, we have the same options. So if I split by top level bookmarks using the bookmarks as file name, now you can see I've got two options when it comes to email. Do I want a separate email per split? So one document, one email, or do I want them all on one email themselves? If I choose email per split and send as an attachment, what it does for me is it will go through and it will create me a collection of emails. You can see those down here, email one, two, three. If we bring up email two, for example, let me just click on it like that. You can see I have number two, there's my section. And again, of course, we split the document retaining the bookmarks Okay, inside that. So you can split them out onto separate emails if you wish. Okay, let me just pop those close just for a second. Uh, there we go. Okie dokie, we'll just close those. Because the other way to do this, of course, is if what if I were to want to split these onto one email? So I'm just going to make this tidy so we can see it, just like that. Okie dokie. Uh, if I choose email again, this time I want to split by top level bookmark 
use the bookmarks as file name and just put them onto one document okay and as i split this what will happen now is we'll get one email with all those different five parts on there so we can break a document down either by size as i said but this is one i've seen quite recently or quite frequently asked is just breaking it down by these top level bookmarks so this is all working from within single document mode however if i pop this closed pdf docs as you know has another has another mode has an organizer mode okay and the organizer itself is used to collate a number of documents together uh, let me just pop that open uh, for us so we can have a little look inside okay and there is my file i'm actually going to take that file out okay so we can see me actually loading this file in okay so let me take that one out there we go so this is the document i've been using my uh my document here let's just drop that in okay into the organizer now the organizer itself of course does have all the facilities all see all the bookmarks of the documents okay when you're working with those now again i want to be able to split this document out i can still do it from my computer that split and extract is there for us this time though it would work on all the documents in here if i wanted to you know to, to, uh, it, to, to be that way still works on email but we also have the split option inside on the ribbon inside the organizer as well so it enables us to break those documents down by choosing the split on the organizer i do then get the same option okay so i can still split by the top level bookmarks using the bookmark names i can either create a new organizer or actually break it into the organizer that i'm working with right now so if i do that of course it just splits those documents and you'll see very quickly underneath what will happen is those documents then will get broken out and split into the organizer and then i can do something with them maybe i want to manage them maybe i want to work within the pages etc and i can do all of that then quite happily from the organizer so different ways of just breaking the document out as i said it's not all about split the top level bookmarks you can of course do it by size or by number of pages but i just really wanted to show you uh, where that was so that's really just handling the splitting of documents now the other um, option we get are sometimes is we've got these files and we want to be able to compress these documents down. Now, if I take a look at this particular file and look at the properties, we can see that it's about two meg in size. So really what I want to do is sort of compress this document. So here, for example, I can take my document, I can load it into either organizer or single document mode. Let's just pop it into our single document mode here at the top now what I want to do is compress this file so that is based on the edit ribbon okay so our workflow you know the PDF docs we've got the home ribbon for our sort of favorites and if you want to review a document we've got some options there if you want to edit the document we have some options here of course uh, and protect us where redaction security is so it's all that protection tools but anyway go back to the edit this is com op uh, to compress is this optimized PDF section here now, if I choose that down, you can see here, I've got some options. I'm gonna choose custom optimization for a moment. You only need to set this once, um, but you can see here, then we've got sort of send to projects or save as, and that's what we're gonna be using. But let's just take a little look at the custom optimization. Now for the sort of out of the box, we set this to use adaptive compression, and there's a sliding scale here that makes sort of smaller size, higher quality, depending on the file that you are, you're gonna to wanna to compress. So those options there would generally be ideal for your day-to-day -day, uh, type of compression needs. However, if you want to do more advanced um, compression, of course, you can uncheck that adaptive uh, option. And now you can see that the other options under color images, grayscale, monochrome, they've all livened up. And again, you can then you know, take your color images, convert them to grayscale. Of course, you can take your grayscale images, convert them to monochrome monochrome you really are at the bottom of the tree there um, but essentially you've got a sliding scale for each one of those as well if you want to just be able to work with those so you can get quite granular when it comes to compression but generally for most compression the adaptive compression will be fine so we'll simply click OK on that and then I've got this save uh, as and save into project and if you remember that was the same options that sat here save as send to project using current settings so again, let me just choose save as, and of course it comes up. If you're going straight into a document management system, for example, I've got iManage here, but if you 
we integrate with many as you well know um, I'm going to just sort of pop this back onto my computer right now there's nothing else I need to do but we obviously do need to save a document uh, when we are compressing it select my desktop so we can all see it so I'm going to just call this one new compression let's just do that okay just so we can see the file and then hit save so what it'll do now is it'll run through it it will recognize uh, that document it will go through and it will compress that file for me you can see that happening just at the bottom of the uh, bottom left hand corner of the application there zips through once that's done of course that would then just pop that onto my document for me just like that it open it up for me as well doesn't look any great deal of difference but of course if I just drop that down and we'll go and have a look at this file so new compression when I started this this file was 2 meg if I take a look at this file we can now see that this file is 34k or 37k okay so just a little way there you can run the compression but as I said it's available in single document mode um, and it lives on our um, edit ribbon and likewise inside the organizer again it lives there as well on the edit ribbon there oh, it's shifted there it is okay as i say just a quick video just to sort of cover those two points i hope you found that useful uh, of course if you've got any questions at all don't hesitate to contact your dot score account manager um and no, and we will definitely be able to help you out but for now many thanks for your time i'll speak to you again soon thank you